ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino. And today I would like to talk with you about running 16-bit Windows applications on modern 64-bit Windows. For since Windows 11, Windows is missing an important sub-element called Windows on Windows, which would allow for certain very, very old programs to run on modern editions of the operating system. And as I was, you know, enjoying myself browsing Almy.us, the site of Tom Almy about the Xlisp Plus variant of Xlisp, I discovered that there are many interesting ports of this programming language environment, which in various varieties has turned out to be simply insanely portable, from MacOS over old Windows, over OS2, over MS-DOS, over 16-bit Windows and 32-bit Windows, down to CPM. If you lo look for Xlisp variants, you will find so much. Even eccentric units of the past had it and I was actually once able to run it on Microsoft Xenix or Xenix or whatever way you pronounce it. So I was quite pleased to find on Almy.us versions for Microsoft Windows. And I thought, okay, why not try it out? And you know, in fact, the 32-bit version, which could be downloaded, is amusingly working in modern times just as it did over then. <laughs> the only issue with it is it cannot be maximized. So that window, that window is everything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, exit. But when I tried the Windows 16-bit version, that's what you get. That's what you get on Windows 11. Regrettable, isn't it, in particular if you have some of those absolutely charming 16-bit Windows programs. Frankly, I love them because they have such an absolutely oldish flair about them. Somehow, somehow I regard them as beautiful. So I found that as a big pity and I was searching, isn't there something that can be done? And yes, of course, this video is about the fact that there is and that there can. And it is on GitHub in the repository of OTIA128 called WineVDM. And the thing you're looking for is called OTVDM. It's just a zip archive, which once you unzip it, is going to show you, well, pretty much something like this, where there's just a set of programs that you can run. The one of interest is OT, OTVDMW. There's also one without W, I assume this one is a sheer command line program, whereas the one with the W actually lets you nicely graphically pick what you want to run. And so I should now be able to pick Xlisp WinXe, which is the 16-bit version. Note an interesting thing how, I don't know whether you see this, but how un sharp these fonts are. Like the, the actual Windows fonts are very sharp here, but not in this picker. There, there is something, so to say, weird going on. And if I pick it, then there we have the 16-bit version running. I could actually run it side by side, I believe, with the 32-bit version. So yeah, here you have the 16-bit one, you have the 32-bit one. They're also slightly different. The one is version 3.04, the other one is 3.05. And yeah, there are slight optical differences in, in the layout of the programs, right? How help is in the upper right here of the older one, how it is over here in the newer one. I would like to see, is there any difference in how much a room we have and how much space we have for our list programs in both versions. So the output is clearly somewhat different and we see that we are having around, around a third more nodes 
in the 32-bit version rather than in the 16-bit version. I know who, who will really need to run XLisp plus the 32-bit Windows 95 version on Windows 11. There, there might not be a too large audience for that, right? But it is a very beautiful program. It is just a couple of hundreds of kilobytes. This is this is really nice to see. And anyway, yeah, this is your 32-bit program. What is that? Like a seventh of a floppy disk, something like that? <laughs> So this this is definitely something you can send yourself by email and and you need nothing else right just the 32 bit program just you double click it it runs and you can run xlisp it's not recommended by Tom Almy who actually has libraries with more functions but if you restrict yourself to a more narrow subset of common lisp then frankly as it is it's an amazing tool i love it and if you have 16-bit programs, it is as easy as that. So you download that zip file, you unzip it somewhere, you open the dmw.x variant of it, and then you just pick whichever you want to run, and that's everything. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, the beauty of 16-bit Windows programs is not forlorn forever. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to greet you here soon again for further adventures. Until then, have a wonderful time. If you're not a subscriber yet, please consider it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.